Yo, Z Nation, Daily Xander, 233, coming at you at the Icelandic airport in, I'm going to call it Kevlar, but it's not Kevlar, it's a town right next to Reykjavik. You don't actually fly in, just found this out on my flight, actually fly into Reykjavik itself. You fly into a town that's like 30 to 40 minutes away from it, and this airport is very modern extremely new but it's very small and it's funky in its design at the moment it just doesn't seem like everybody it's just not smooth efficient right now like there's a giant like right over there there's a giant line right over there and they're just waiting to clear like arrivals or something like that it's been waiting for a while I'm in like the duty free kind of area like it's a sort of kind of makeshift cafeteria but anyways, I'm just waiting for my flight to go from Birmingham to um, going home to Birmingham, England. The flight from Orlando to Iceland was about seven hours almost. Went by really fast for me. Did a little work, finished up some notes, slept a couple times, meditated a little bit. Kind of do that meditation. Chatted with an Icelandic couple, so learned some stuff there, interesting stuff. And yeah, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday around 7 in the morning, 7, 7.20 local time. So I'll check in with you when I land in England, so I hope all is well. And we'll eventually wake up here too. I think I got a little jet lag. Understandable though. But nothing phases me. Nothing. All right, check in with you a little bit later. Peace. <laughs> For. First one being safe travels so far. Safe travels from Orlando to Iceland and now Iceland to Birmingham. Second tidbit would be having Wi Fi on the plane. Very grateful for that. It allows me to get to work and stay caught up on items here. Third piece that I'm grateful is meeting new people throughout my travels so far. One of the 
ladies that I just got off the flight with from my Orlando to Iceland was going on a cru cruise, a Disney cruise starting in Copenhagen. And that's in Think of the country right now. Copenhagen's in. You can totally picture, you can totally picture the, the size of the country, the, the layout of the country. You can picture the name of the country. Anyway, she's doing a Disney cruise and going to various other countries. But she, I was talking to her and telling her I have an interview and such in Birmingham with Steiner, and then she actually heard of Steiner. So that's actually pretty cool to share some tidbit on that. So those are my three items right now for being uh, grateful and mindful of. So I'm going to get back to doing some work here and just enjoy the flight. I have probably about, let's see, it's right here. The screen is very slow, but I'm going to take this. And nothing's happening. There we go. Oh wait, I can't show you because there's an intro video. I just saw this in the lights last flight. Maybe I can skip it. Well, I have about probably like two more hours before I'm in, so let me get back to it and I'll check in with you a little bit later. Not a full flight either, because nobody's next to me and see this guy.
is good. Goop. What is good, guys? I guess I was a little jet lag there. I'm all squared away in Birmingham, England. All through customs, all got my baggage. I've got a hotel room. And right now, I got a lot of stuff I need to get done before tomorrow's interview. But right now, I'm gonna go get a workout in. And I'm thinking about doing this. So right across the street from my hotel room, there's a rooftop. Yeah, there's a rooftop on top of that parking garage. And on that parking garage, there are many light poles. I'm gonna take my T-Rex, attach the light pole up there, and uh, soak up some of the cloudy, the cloudy weather we got. Just a little waker up or re-energizer is what I'm gonna get up to. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. But I'll keep you posted. So more to follow.